Well, hello. Welcome to a much uh, belated Diamond Dialogue. We've been on a bit of a break lately, but thanks to some overly generous patrons, uh, one of which being Emily, the other, of course, being Sergeant Muffin at the moment. Um, but anyway, let's let's get on with the show. Um, this is Diamond Dialogue. For those of you who haven't been here, uh, my name's Alex, a.k.a. Tinvec, and uh, I will be interviewing members of the chat realm to um, just find out more about them and uh, just get to know everybody a little bit better. So on, on this episode is uh, Emily. She's joining me from the chat realm and normally is hot beverages there. So say hello to, to Emily, everybody. Or Emily, hey, you can say you hello doing? to them. I mean, I'm, I'm well, not sure well, if you yes. yeah. <laughs> They might be screaming at their, their screens right now or their, their iPods, whatever it works out, you know. Sadly, I can't. I can't hear them, and I feel terrible about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I guess we'll, we'll get right to it. Um, who the hell are you, and uh, how did you get here? Oh, you mean chat realm in general, or, in general. or on this yeah. earth? Um, I was born in 1987, uh, Cincinnati, uh, Christ Hospital. Um, no, no, actually, I don't even think I was born there. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, chat realm. So... Um, I uh, was pretty interested in technology. Um, well, actually, okay, uh, everyone in chat realm was like super good at technology, but it was not very a uh, topic that I was really knowledgeable in or anything. Um, a friend, uh, a friend of mine, had suggested I build a computer in like 2009, so I did. Of course. And then I found myself kind of interested in like, oh, okay, I know how to put together a computer, but maybe I should learn more about tech and stuff. So I used to listen to, like, IGN podcasts super heavy. <laughs> All right, nice. Um, and they had this really um, bad tech podcast. And and, and not, not bad, because the people on it were great, but um, it was very lacking. They, they would not know fully about things. And I'd be like, well, that stinks. I kind of want to know more of, the, like, the nitty-gritty and, like, news and stuff that's going on. So I would I checked out iTunes one day, like, in June of 2011-ish. And I was like, what is this Twit thing? This is confusing. Let's listen to this MacBook podcast and iPads. Oh, sure. I want an iPad. <laughs> um, so I started listening to that. And I'm like, oh, man, this is great. I'm learning lots of great stuff. Um, what's, what's like Bitcoin and whatever? I don't even know if Bitcoin's up there. But then, <laughs> As, no, you got to um, ask Tom about that one. Uh, or Scott. <laughs> Scott, if you want the funny answer. Tom, if you want somebody who's actually going to try, try to tell you what it is. <laughs> A tangent, uh, an employee at Starbucks um, was talking to someone uh, like months back and trying to explain to a customer what Bitcoin was, Ooh. which I found great. That's, that's not a topic I'm... for Starbucks line. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was so crazy. She was trying to explain to him what it was. And anyway, no, how... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's difficult. <laughs> no, yeah, it was very crazy because I think the guy just wanted to leave. Um but no, I, I subscribed to the Twit Mastery feed, and then eventually I was like, oh, this NSFW thing, I don't know if I can watch it or listen to it, because I was just doing audio. Um, it seemed very not safe for work. And so I was like, you yeah. know what, I'll just, I'll just give this a listen. And um, I was very confused, um, because it was the Dragon Con episode for 2011, and there was like a live audience, and I hate like live audiences and shows mostly because um, <laughs> mostly mostly they're just like I, I don't know I, I think it's just a personal pet peeve um, mm, yeah but but I was like I was so confused I'm like why are there cosplayers who are these people talking I don't know what's going on um I was just so confused because I was, I was listening to an audio only too so I had no clue what was going on and I was like what the heck is this <laughs> and somehow I decided to stick with it and uh, I've been listening to them, uh, to the NSFW Now Night Attack show ever since, sticking with, with that crew. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what NSFW is. Uh, Night Attack, I'm, I'm very familiar with, but... Uh... <laughs> well, let's pretend we live in a new universe where NSFW <laughs> show was, was another word for Night Attack. Like <laughs> gotcha. Um, but, like, I never, like, really was in the chat room that much. Um, I mean, I, I was, I'd watch live a lot, uh, but I was very overwhelmed by the amount of people that were in chat. And I was like, oh, I'll just watch and not say anything. And then <laughs> pretty much didn't really start getting active till this past summer. So mm. that's, that's your very long answer that you probably didn't <laughs> want. No, that's, that's, so in, that's interesting. So, well, and, and you'd actually, you'd lead me into my, to my next question is how did you come up with your chat handle, which is hot beverages? Oh, um, this is, uh, well, um, 
in the 90s, there was this online platform called AOL. <laughs> and that's what my family had. Initially, we had, I guess, CompuServe or something. Right, um, of course. And my uh, one of my sisters was like um, the main account. And I wanted my own account. I think when I was like in sixth grade or something. Um, and I wanted my own account, but I didn't want anything with like numbers because even like then I was like, no, I want it to be a, like a word or a couple words, something like easy to remember. Yeah, something and, you can say in general. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I was very like, no, no numbers, no numbers. Um, so uh, she was really into Christian music at the time. And I, I, I look up to my sisters like a lot. Uh, and I looked up to her a lot at the time too. So I think there's this Jars of Clay song called uh coffee or something and we were listening we were listening to that and i was like oh i don't like coffee though so like i was gonna do like hot coffee or something i'm like i don't like coffee i'll just do hot beverages <laughs> so and like, that's the only hot beverage i like is hot chocolate so it's not like because i hate tea so it's not like it really describes me well anyway right. but i just i just kept it um i've just kept it ever since i think i've had it since 1999 so oh that's yeah. awesome so uh, to get to know you a little bit more, we're going to reach deep into your psyche. Um, no. If you were stranded on Desert Island, what three movies do you pick? You only, you only get three, but, but you somehow have a working VCR DVD player. It's, don't ask me. It's the future. Okay. Um, see, I'm really bad. I don't... Okay. I didn't really grow up on a lot of movies. Um which I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Um, I've been trying to get into mo movies um, or like see movies that I haven't seen. Uh, so over Christmas break, I picked up uh, a little movie called The Godfather. I don't know if you've heard of it. I have. Um, it's really uh, good. It's been around. You know, it's a good indie flick. Yeah, that Francis <laughs> Ford Coppola is going places. Um, I really liked it. Um, I'd recommend it. Should win some Academy Awards, I think. Um, that might be one. Um, a couple sequels to that movie too. Oh uh, no, not uh, I haven't. I never actually watched part three. I just watched part two because everyone's like, "Don't watch part three. Um, <laughs> I'm like, "I'll I'll not watch yeah. part three. Um, shoot, because I don't own a lot of movies. I really like Inception. I bought that, um, but I never watched it again. I really, it's okay. but I like that good. soundtrack. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if I'd take that. So okay, okay. I guess The Godfather's part one and two count as two separate ones. Um, shoot. I'm real, um, Gamer Wars, the Gamer Wars DVD for Mega 64. That's a masterpiece. It actually contains on the, on the DVD all, um, four Gamer Wars. So, um, uh, that might be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on a single disc. Right. So. No, it, it, you know, it works. <laughs> no, that, that's and, 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 the, and the Gamer Wars, uh, each, each movie is like, I think the first one's like five minutes and they keep getting longer. So, you know, last one's like 50 minutes. So, you oh, know, it's well, like one big movie. Sure. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like an hour or so altogether, hour and a half. Uh, uh, probably two hours altogether. Two hours hour. altogether. Right. I, I don't know. I haven't seen Gamer Wars in a while. It's Tommy Tallarico's best work. I would highly <laughs> recommend it. All right. So, all right. Uh, to, to choose a different path then, if you were given a superpower, what would it be and what's the first thing you would do with it? Flight. I know that's boring. I really like flight. flight. Um, that's a good one. Solid. Well, okay, hold on. Because everyone, okay, if you do teleportation, it's, see, that, that that's always tricky, too. I just, I'd like to be able to, like, transport quickly places. But then flight, I don't know, this, this, you know, man has long since wanted to fly, you know. Well, the, hence the right. The, the 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 question comes down to do you want to actually do the traveling? <laughs> you know? No, I'd rather. God, I I feel better just like sleeping on a train or a flight or a bus or something, because uh, I hate driving. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> okay, I guess I would do teleportation then because that takes like two seconds and then right. I can like bounce anywhere. Oh, that's even better. Okay, if you had like a a a, a life suit. Um, you know, environmental suit or something, you could just transport anywhere in the universe and you could be like, oh man, that's a black hole, assuming I'm not dead being so close to it. That's <laughs> totally great. And then, you could, and then you could like totally like take pictures and stuff, assuming like the camera didn't break or spaghettify from the black hole or whatever. So but, but, but no, no, so, so teleportation because I, I like learning. Can't, you can't fly in space. 
Huh? Know. Well, I guess Superman would disagree, but <laughs> <laughs> it depends on on how your flight works. If it's aerodynamic, no, you can't fly in space. If if it's supernatural, you just float, like you float in space. Yeah. Well, Max says, "What if the flight was only two miles an hour? Then why 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 wouldn't you just walk?" walk yeah. faster than that you know i mean i guess <laughs> so. yeah i know i teleportation is the final final answer All right. super serious. Yes. <laughs> so uh if, if you're playing any games what uh what games are you playing lately what's your current time suck <laughs> um i haven't had a lot of like time for video games last one i played i think was firewatch which i did not like very much i really loved the first 10 minutes of it first 10 minutes of it were great <laughs> and the rest of it i was kind of disappointed with unfortunately and i really like story-based games um like my favorite game i think is dragon age inquisition not having played any other series oh god if i could play that game again i totally would that that's like a hundred hour rpg um yeah. <laughs> i tried to get through everybody's gone to the rapture but i haven't finished that yet i was kind of getting bored with it and again i really like story games but i just wasn't it didn't capture me, and it was just taking too long. Mm. Um, before that, oh yeah, I played Undertale. I think before that, and Undertale was really good. Um, uh, but oh, and then board games, of course, the contender. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing that uh, when, when I hang out with friends. So it's, yeah, pretty right. good game. I, I don't know if you've heard of it. Probably never heard. <laughs> no, it's something. Um, no, I've I've a cop in my closet too. In fact, I have a closet full of board games too, just sitting right over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, I, I definitely know. I know what you mean. We don't actually get out enough to to play board games like like we'd want to. But then again, I just end up playing Hearthstone all the time anyway. So, <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that your number one game, like video game wise? It's pretty much all I play right now. But uh, yeah. I also do. I, I I do play Diablo and. Um, um, City Skylines and uh, sometimes StarCraft and, and it just depends on what I'm in the mood for. But yeah, I, I don't really see. I, I I don't really play a lot of console games, so it's nice to have like Hearthstone I can play when I, if I'm sitting at the computer or if I have my tablet or if you know whatever I can just play Hearthstone CC. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I'm too stupid for Hearthstone. Uh, the strategy to it. Mm. Uh, I, I I in high school. Um, a bunch of my friends were really into Magic the Gathering, and I always just wanted to go to school and, like, beforehand, like, talk or something. And they'd be like, no, we're strategizing, we're doing the thing. And I'm like, I don't have the patience for this. Like, any, I feel really, like, dumb, but, like, any, any game that I have to spend more than, like, ten minutes learning the rules, I just space out. And then I'm like, I'm sure this is fun. But I really just, like, want a quick, easy game, not a game that's going to take, like, five hours. I'm not, I'm not saying Hearthstone takes five hours. Right. But no, I... I just, it's just, like... I don't, it's like, I don't know what card beats the other card, and I I could learn it, but I have a job. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, like City Skylines. I have probably pushing 300 hours into that game, and that's, oh, yeah. that's nothing. You know? <laughs> it's like the, the, I had a couple thousand hours into, into SimCity 5, and same for 4, and... You know, so. I wanted to try Skylines. It looked really fun. Um, really I good. used to love playing SimCity 4 when that was oh, out. Oh, yeah, it blows that out um, of the water. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, I saw you uh, months ago, I think, creating landscape for that. You were modeling after a town or something, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember which one I made, but um, but yeah, I, I made a, a map for it, and uh, it's now they have the, the whole Snowfall DLC, so I might have to just like remake that map to, to actually look good. What's, but, what's the Snowfall DLC? Um, they added weather effects, and it's not just snow, but, oh. but snow is one of them. Um, so depending on, like, you can either set your terrain... Um, to be in a like tundra area so that it's always snowy or it can have seasons depending on what you're doing um, but it'll also it'll rain and there'll be fog that'll come in and <laughs> there's, there's all sorts of stuff so so that gets combined with especially if the, for the winter stuff um, you have to heat the, the 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 pipes to keep it from freezing and oh, it also okay. carries heating stuff to the people you know if they if they use gas or I guess whatever they use for heating so they had basically just added some more mechanics to it as well as... And the snowfall thing is really interesting because it builds snow on any horizontal surface. So you can take mm -hmm. old models in the game and just apply this script to them that the, the game already has. And, and bam, they have snow and it looks really good. Because, you know, it just finds the horizontal surfaces, adds some snow to it, and boom, you have snowy terrain. And it looks spot on, you know. So it's, it's, it's yeah, a really cool... Yeah, it sounds cool, like a cool game. Yeah. 
and I'm the the most of it's cheap now too. I think like the base one is like ten fifteen bucks, and the DLCs are like five ten bucks. You know, they're, so it's pretty cheap for for all the stuff that's around there. And there's a million mods for it. Oh yeah, I heard when people were like really upset with SimCity Five that they were just like, oh, did you hear about City Skylines? It's it's like it's supposed to be really cool and have all the things that we we're complaining about at SimCity not working. So and um, basically, but... it basically does. <laughs> so you know, it's, <laughs> they, they did a good job. So. That's that's awesome. Um, so, did you have anything else you'd like to plug besides your Twitter? I see you had that. You have that, and it's always interesting. No, I'm the least interesting person in chat room. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just uh, just hot beverages on Twitter is is really all you'll find me. I don't have a Facebook or anything because I got really upset with Facebook. I don't know. I just uh, <laughs> I don't do Facebook either. I but still have Twitter, one, I've but got, yeah, you know. I, I love I love the Twitter hot beverages thank god i got that screen name because if, if i don't get my screen name on the service i'm just like i'm done with this i'm not using it <laughs> <laughs> right no it's that's the same with mine if i can't find him back on on a, a service there's something wrong like either somebody's messing yeah. with me or i've already tried to sign up <laughs> <laughs> and i just forgot so that's that's too funny well definitely everybody should go follow you on on twitter and you know thanks for joining me emily we're gonna uh, we're gonna play the music play you out uh, I'm gonna let you finish, but <laughs> uh, it's too funny. But... Anyway, thanks for joining me. You can check out uh, everything about Diamond Dialogue uh, at tinbeck.com/dd. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>